Hey, Mark Walters here. It is my honor and privilege to be with my longtime friend, Ted Thomas. He is over there looking great as always. Ted brings so many decades to the table, foundational education when it comes to tax lien certificates, tax deeds. We're talking all kinds of ways to be able to have a business in this niche, to be able to profit with this niche. If you've seen any information out there over the years, those people learned it from this gentleman right here, Ted Thomas. So Ted, it is my pleasure to have you here. Thank you so very much. Well, it's my pleasure to be here, and it's good to see you again. You look nice and healthy. You look great, too, Ted. So. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, I prepared some questions because we are with you, the authority, and I wanted to ask some serious questions. So shall we? Well, fire away, and we'll do the best we can to answer them for you. Okay, sounds good. All right. Um, you're in an unusual business that most people don't know about, and they're not sure. I'm not sure that many people believe this type of returns when they hear them, and you can share that. Um that investors can generate. Can you tell my audience a little about the business that you are the expert in? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, well, yes, uh, definitely I can. Folks, I'm in the business of tax defaulted property. So on one side, we have what we call tax lien certificates. The other side, we have tax defaulted property. And basically what happens is all across the United States, what happens is there's a certain amount of people that don't pay their tax. Now they might've got sick, or someone passed away, but something happened in their life. Maybe their insurance policy uh, expired and they had a car accident, so they paid their car and fixed it up instead of paying their taxes. All right, so people aren't pot potentially bad. It's just that it's part of life. So there's so many properties. All right, so at the county level, the county has to do something about collecting the money on tax. Now, what do they do about collecting tax? Well, they're going to send people notices, default notices, and if those people don't pay the tax, well, then the county is actually going to take over the property. So we have two situations. One situation is called tax defaulted property, and the other is called tax lien certificates. So let's uh, assume that most of the people are watching today are in the state of California. Now, I spent my adult life in California when I had black hair and I was skinny. I lived in California. And in California, if you don't pay your taxes, what's going to happen is they're going to slap your hand just like that. They're going to say, look, you didn't pay your taxes. And if you don't, we're going to issue a default. Now, if they issue that default, what can happen to you is they could actually come and take the property away from you. So that could be kind of sticky. Or in other states, like I live in Florida now, they have tax lien certificates. So Florida is kind of a benevolent state, and they still slap your hand, but then they issue a piece of paper, and it's called a tax lien certificate. It's just a piece of paper like this. So that's a tax lien certificate. So either way, that business is very profitable for anybody that wants to be in it. Why? Because number one, if you bought a tax lien certificate, you can earn 16, 18, 24, 36%. But let's say you're in California. In California, they're going to confiscate those properties. Well, the government, local government, whatever county you're in, whether you're in San Jose or you're in Phoenix or where you're in, in uh, Texas, where they're selling these certificates, well, the, the government doesn't want the property, what they want is they want to get money. So what they do is they sell those properties and they sell them for the starting bid. So the starting bid is gonna be the back taxes. Now think about this, buying houses, which are very expensive nowadays, what if you could buy one for just the back taxes? So that could happen to you in California. But if you're in Arizona, you could start with a tax lien and a tax lien, just these pieces of paper, you could buy these pieces of paper and all you do is pay the back taxes. And you could earn, in Arizona, you could earn 16%. Here in Florida, you could earn 18%. Iowa, you could earn 24%. So that's kind of the business I've been. I've been teaching people how to do that for 30 years. Wow, long time. Well, I remember. I remember your ads back in the day in big newspapers, yeah. you know. My dad yeah. and I used to talk about Ted Thomas. So I, I, right. that's why I'm so honored to have you here. Thank All right. You. That was a great explanation. My next question, Ted, is can you explain to me how tax lien certificates then work? Well, sure. So let's take a state where the, they're selling tax lien certificates. Okay, so you live in, in Maricopa County. So in Maricopa County, if the people don't pay their tax, the government's going to say, slap your hand, say you didn't pay the tax. And then they're going to put these, you're going to put these certificates out for bid. So someone else can actually pay your tax. So I could come and play Mark's tax. I could just pay his tax. And why would I do that? I would do that because when Mark comes in and pay, by the way, 97, 98% of the people are going to pay. When he comes in to pay the tax, he's going to have to pay the tax 
and he's going to have to pay 16% interest. Wow, that's a lot of money. Now, folks at the banks, they're getting, uh, it's changing now, but the banks have only been paying 1% or 2% recently, so now you can make 16%. Now, because we're an online world now, you can go online and you can buy a certificate on somebody's property in Illinois and earn all the way up to 36%. Or you could buy the one on Ted's house in Florida and you could earn 18%. So you're getting the idea. So people want to buy the certificate so that they can make money. All right. So you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute. If they didn't pay the government, are they going to pay me? Yes, they're going to pay you. And let me tell you why they're going to pay you. They're going to pay you because the certificate, when you get this certificate that I'm showing you, if you don't get paid, you get the property. The government, local government, whether it be Maricopa County in Phoenix or Orange County here in Florida or wherever it might be, said to you, if you pay, buy one of these certificates, we're going to make sure that if you get don't get paid, you get the property. Well, all that can happen with a tax certificate is two things. One, you get paid. Two, you're going to get the property. Simple as that. Is that good? That's really good. But you bring up a point which actually brings me to my next question. Um, I, I want to know about this because I, I've heard about tax lien certificates, but you bring in the whole uh, tax defaulted property. You bring and talk about uh, selling the property. Can you tell me a little bit about tax defaulted property? Because that there's a disconnect between the tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property. Right. So let's use um, Oregon, Washington, California. They don't use tax certificates. What they are, they're not so benevolent like Arizona and Florida. They're not benevolent at all. They say, if you don't pay the tax, what they're going to do is they're going to confiscate. They're going to seize your property. They're going to take you off the property. They're going to boot you out. They're going to boot you out of your property, and they're going to sell that property at auction. All right. Why are they selling the property? They're going to sell it because they want their taxes. They need the taxes to pay the school teachers, pay the firefighters, to pay the police department, to pay the people to fix the roads. All those things have to be paid for. So they're going to they're going to try to collect the tax. If they can't collect the tax, they're going to move you off the property, and they're going to sell that property at auction. Now, this is a big profit business. So think about this. So taxes are generally about 1%. So what if I go to the tax auction, and I raise my hand, and I buy a property for 10 cents on the dollar? All right, now there's going to be 5,000 of these auctions this year. All 3,000 counties do this. All of them do it. If people don't pay their tax, the ta property's going to tax auction, and the auction started back taxes, like 10 cents on the dollar. Can you imagine? Wow. Now, that doesn't mean it'll sell for 10 cents, because if you go to the auction, I go to the auction, and it happens to be in property in your neighborhood, you say, well, wait a minute, properties in my neighborhood are 400,000. They're selling for 10 cents. I'm going to bid 30 or 40 cents. You can bid as much as you want. So those auctions are happening all the time. And there's thousands of them, but the public doesn't know about it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, you mentioned something here, Ted, uh, and that was the online aspect of this. Can you explain? Because obviously that is a wonderful evolution from the old days before the internet. So for those people that are listening and myself included, how can we streamline it online? Oh, well, this is a new world. Okay. So the old world when Ted had the black hair and he was skinny, I used to have to drive all the way to wherever I wanted to book, going to buy. So if I lived, in, which I did, I lived in California outside of San Francisco. So if I wanted to buy in, in Nevada, well, then I had to drive to Nevada. If I wanted to buy in Phoenix, I had to drive to Phoenix. But now I'd have to drive to Atlanta or, or, or Cleveland or whatever. But the point is, they've done it all online. So now we can go to the counties online and they'll put up, they'll put up, uh, I printed this from online, but that's a, that's an auction brochure. Now I'll show you another one. This is this is a this is a county that's just a hundred miles north of New York City. And you can see right there, it says on a, it says on it 113 properties. And I'll try to show it to you here if it'll show. It. All right, it actually lists all those properties. You can I, I can see actual pictures of it. All right, so I can buy properties in that county, and I can sit right in my desk, right where you're sitting right now at your computer, sitting on your rusty dusty. You can buy in every county in the United States. How that sounds that? really good. That sounds really good. I know a lot of people want to do things from home, and I think yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, is the government taking someone's house away when you say they're taking someone's house away? All right. Now, when you're buying tax lien certificates, the people stay in the property all the time. When you buy a tax lien certificate, all you do is you bought a piece of paper. That's all you bought. 
you did not get the product. When it's a tax default, they're probably like California and New York and, and half of the states. Those states are going to kick the people out and that you're going to you're going to get the property. But the tax lien certificate states do not do that. So, so it's half and half. So it's not a, it's not a big problem because most of the time people have already been moved out of the property. OK, it's not you doing it. It's the local government. When you get a property, it's usually an empty property. OK, well, that that's good to know. Is this tax lien certificate tax defaulted business complicated? I don't think it's complicated. I think it's pretty easy. But I do want to tell you um, something that I think we, we ought to cover. Um, people don't believe that this is going to work. So I want to show you something. Um, what happens when people hear about this, they don't believe it. So I'm going to actually show people a video. I have a client that lives close by. I'm in uh, Florida in uh, just a short distance from Disney. And uh, I have a client that's over in Alabama. Okay. And he called me and he said, Look, I'm looking at this property. It was a it was a home. It was two bedroom, one bath home, and it was up for auction. And he didn't believe the price was so low. It was under five hundred dollars and there was people living in the property. So he, he didn't bid on the property at the auction. I said, go back to the auction tomorrow. And if they haven't sold it, go back and bid. He bought a house for less than five hundred dollars. So just hold on a second. Let me show you this video. It's, it's very quick. It's just a nice little house, it's a little two bedroom, one bath house. And, uh, and I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, it's going to auction. And so uh, he heads down there to the auction and um, there's nobody else there. There's nobody else. It's two, two bedroom, one bath, nobody else there. So he's afraid to bid. So he calls me up and says, nobody here. I said, well, great, just buy it. He bought a house for $316, $316. This is amazing. What? So he buys this house, he calls me back. He said, I got it. And I said. Okay, good. What are you going to do with it? He said, oh, I don't know. I said, why don't you sell it? Now, the house was probably worth 35 or 50 grand. It wasn't fancy. Little house. And he said, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to own stuff. I said, okay, well, then you're going to rent it. So the people in the neighborhood said, you should rent it for 700 bucks a month. He only paid 300. Rent it for 700. So this young guy came. He said, look, I'm going to school. My dad gave me enough money for rent for the whole year. I'll give you $6,000 if you'll let me have your house for the whole year, just renting it, not buying it. So he paid 316 and he rented it for 6,000 bucks. Okay, now there you have it. That guy bought that property for under $500. And then he said to me, he said, Ted, what should I do now? I said, sell it. He, <laughs> he thought it was worth about 45 or $50,000. And I said, just sell it. So I don't want to sell anything. I said, well, what are you going to do? He said, well, tell me what to rent it for. I said, well, I'm in Florida. You're in Alabama. I don't know. Anyway, he ended up renting it for six or six or seven hundred dollars a month for a whole year because the student came and paid rent. So there was a property bought for three or four hundred dollars, all just because he learned how to do this from Ted Thomas. He just learned how to do it. And guess what? In the first deal, that's what he made. So I know it's almost unbelievable. He didn't believe it and didn't bid at the auction because he didn't believe he could get a house for three hundred and sixteen dollars. Wow. A house with no mortgage and no deed of trust. Amazing. Anyway. Amazing. Yeah. That's a, that's a great story. All right, so story. let me tell you about the complications. Okay. All right. Ta tax lien certificates are all listed. They're all listed on the county website, and you can go there, and you can pick out any one you want, and the listing will show a number, and what the number does is you just click the number in your computer, and it takes you right to the house. If there's a picture, they'll show you that. If they don't have one, you can go on Google and, and do Google Maps, or you can go on what we call the GIS mapping system, which I'm raising my hand like this because there's a satellite called the geographical information. It's free. It's absolutely free. And it goes around the world like so. But when it comes over the property, you can go up and down with the satellite. The satellite go up and down for you. The camera will. And you go right down. You can see a geranium on the front porch. Wow. That, that's how good it is. So not complicated. And if it was, we got coaches to help you. I have a coach in my office for people every single day. We have what we call a facilitator guide. We have five facilitators every week to help people want it. They can call anytime they want during business hour. That's how okay. simple we mean. Okay, yeah. well, good answer. Thanks. Uh, can my customers make $25,000, even $30,000 on one deal? Well, I'm gonna tell you that we don't teach people to make five and $10,000. We're investors, we're not, we're not internet marketers. We're people that 
just teach. We're educators. I've been teaching people to do this for more than 30 years. And we're going to teach you not to look at the little properties, which I just mentioned a few minutes ago. I'm going to show you properties throughout these presentations because Mark and I are going to do a few of these. And I'm going to show you throughout these presentations, people making $25,000, $50,000, and even $100,000 a year. That's what we teach. We don't teach you to go out and make five and $10,000. This business is such that there's going to be 5,000 auctions this year of properties. There's over 3,000 counties doing this. All you have to do is learn the basics of how to do it. I would, I would think the economy that we're heading into, it's just going to make that number grow, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Good timing for that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, can the little guy get started with just $500? Because I know a lot of people, that's that's a serious concern. How much yeah. can they get yeah. started with? And, and, and you can do that. Now, I mentioned a minute ago that a guy started for under $500 and he bought this house. But don't plan on that. Okay, this isn't a business no down real estate like uh, my friend Robert Allen years ago used to teach. This is an investor's business. So you wouldn't want to start with only 500, but I can tell you there's little slivers of land that will come up for auction. You can buy those, but what are you going to do with it? We're going to teach you not only how to buy it correctly, in other words, buy it for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, but we're also going to teach you how to sell it way below the tax amount so that you can make real money. So this is a real money business. If you have five or $10,000 that you can invest, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna not only have enough money for your education, but you'll have enough money to get started. But it's not a business that you wanna to try to get in for absolutely pennies on the dollar. I have people that get in for that, but you're only buying small properties. So when you sell it, how much you're gonna make? We wanna teach you to make 25 and $50,000, which is not difficult in this business. Okay, let's see. Are you sure if a prop, excuse me, are you sure if the property owner does not pay the tax lien certificate, you get the property? Well, this one I have to demonstrate to you because you won't believe it. So here's, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about two businesses. One business is tax lien certificate. You can do that, or you can do tax to follow the property, or you can do both of them. Okay, it's open to, to whatever you want. So let's say you decide to buy, buy a tax lien certificate. So I said, you buy this tax lien certificate, you buy one of these certificates, the local government is going to tell you, look, 97 to 99% of people are going to come in and pay you. But if they don't pay you, you're going to get the property. So don't go out and buy junk. Go to the country club and pay someone's taxes. Why? Because if you don't get paid, you're going to get a country club property. Now, I'm going to show you an example. And, and this is an example of a couple, couple that lives in Phoenix, Arizona. They live in Phoenix, and guess what? Those people learned what I'm telling you about today, and they bought a tax certificate, and they spent $7,000 on the certificate. The people did not come in and pay the tax, so they paid some subsequent taxes. In other words, when the next year came up, they paid the taxes. When the year after that came up, they paid the tax. After that, after three years in Arizona, if people haven't paid their tax, you can actually foreclose on the property. I'm not going to teach you foreclosure. Just call an attorney. So they called the attorney. They said, well, we'll foreclose. So they went through the paperwork, took it to the judge. The judge said, well, they didn't pay the tax. You get the property. Now, folks, the question was, am I sure you're going to get paid? Well, I'm darn sure because the judge said, the judge said right there in Phoenix, he said, these people didn't pay the tax. You get the property. Well, here's the best part of the whole thing. And I'm going to show you a video. You're going to meet the people right now. They sold that property. And wait till you hear what they paid, what, what kind of check they got. Here they are. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and and making yourself up i mean it's it sounds silly but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit you know this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want it's a lot easier than you think it's not it's not so scary once you know okay you can just ask these questions and yeah. 
we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion nice enough to actually live in. For we were in 11. it total for 11000 Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Well, there you have it. Those people, after paying the broker, made $169,000 and they invested $7,000. It wasn't me saying it. It was them saying it. They did that right in Phoenix, Arizona. Amazing. Amazing. My backyard. I love it. Exactly. Okay, Ted. Um, the homeowner, right? Who's the taxpayer or the one that should right. be paying the tax. Right. So they won't pay the government. What makes you think that they're going to pay you on a certificate. They're always going to pay you because just like we just demonstrated, this certificate, when you buy a tax lien certificate, if you don't get paid, you get the property, just like that person, that you, the couple that you just saw from Phoenix, Arizona. As a matter of fact, if you buy in the country club, I can tell you what you're going to do. You're going to buy a tax certificate in the country club, and then you're going to go home and you're going to get next to the bed, and you're going to pray, you're going to pray that they don't pay the tax certificate. Why are you going to pray? Because you paid 1% tax, and where are you going to get a property for 1% or 2%? Well, this couple just did that. You saw it happen. Now, we're running out of time. So now we're going to do three or four of these. But let me tell you, folks, what I do once a month, and it's coming up, so your timing is perfect. Once a month, I do an all-day workshop. It's all day. Now, it starts in the East Coast at 8 o'clock in the – excuse me, it starts on the West Coast at 8 o'clock in the morning – and it goes to two in the afternoon. So it's on Saturday, so you have to get up early. All right, so you come at eight o'clock, you're gonna be with us all day, we take breaks. You can sit in your home, it's a virtual seminar, and you can sit there and you can drink and eat, and you can have the kids with you, and you can pet your dog, and you can do all that, and you can learn the tax lien and deed business. We do it every single month, but we want you to get signed up for this month, and below me, I'll put a registration page, and we're gonna come back and do three more of these, so you're going to be educated before you even come to the class. You're going to want to be there. Excellent, Ted. That sounds great. So underneath the videos here, you see the link. Definitely get registered for that event coming up this Saturday. And look for my email tomorrow where we will continue this conversation. Ted is, he is the source. Everybody learns from Ted this business. Don't go anywhere else. He's absolutely the authority. So it is our pleasure and honor, and we're really lucky, too, to be able to do these interviews. So I'll be doing another one, and I will send you an email tomorrow. Look for that, and we will continue this conversation. Click the link below, and I will share more with you in the email tomorrow.